Hey, Bass Geek here. And you guys heard me talk about this bait last year. And big shout out to my buddy, AJ. Listen, I have gone back to this bait repeatedly, especially this time of year. And it's a bait that I think a lot of people don't use as much as they should. That's right, geeks. We're gonna talk about a bait that may have been forgotten. A lot of people don't use. And a lot of people don't think about it at certain times. But man, have I found more and more and more uses for this bait over the past couple of years. And like I said, big shout out to my buddy, AJ, because he was the one that's turned it, kind of turned me back onto it. And that is the grub. Man, I love a grub. And I love a grub in so many different ways. And I've really started expanding the way I use them. And I use so many different styles of grub. Let me show you. Geeks, let me tell you, it has been a cold day. I am bundled up and I forgot to bring some stuff to bundle up even more, but it is cold out here today. We've been doing a little dropping. This is one of the baits that I actually like to use for that because I don't think a lot of people use it to drop. And if you don't know what dropping is, I'll explain as we go, or as most people know it, to make you read it. A grub is great for that. Well, let me show you first what grubs, kind of my go-to grubs, what I like. It's really three brands that I use pretty much over anyone. To start with, it's the good old Zoom Fat Albert grub. This one right here is Green Pumpkin. The Fat Albert, pretty much any of these are interchangeable and I just kind of let the bass tell me which one. Some of them got a little more tail wiggle, some of them's got a fatter tail, and some of them are a little more subtle. And that's why I kind of changed between these three. This is kind of a middle of the road. It's got a nice fat tail. It's got a lot of tail wiggle. So this is kind of my middle of the road grub. This is from Rage. Now Rage, this has got a Rage tail grub. It's really got a lot of thump to it, but it's a nice compact little grub. And that's Blue Glimmer. This is a uh, just a regular pearl white. Good old green pumpkin can get the job done as a trailer or all by itself. And this is one of my little secrets that I'm gonna let out of the bag, a good bluegill color. When the bluegill are on the beds, especially in clear water. Now last but not least is probably my go-to grub. It's definitely my subtle grub. So when I'm using, or when I'm in some clear water, this is what it's going to be for me. There's one particular color that we have to give a shout out to our guy who owns Killer Bass Baits. By the way, go check out Killer Bass Baits, Killer Bass Rods. Good stuff, guys, across the board. Big fan of them, have been for a long time. That is our Gary Yamamoto grubs. This, of course, is the five inch. I'll use the four inch too. This little little grub right here is a uh, great little tool. And this is the baby bass color. I'll kind of show you, and, and I hate to give Brad's secrets away, but you know, we all kind of know it now. But uh, I'll give you a little trick about these, especially in the winter and the early spring, late winter and early spring. I'll show you a little trick that can catch you some bass with these. Next up is the Blue Pearl Black Hologram. And this is probably one of my go-tos right here. I wanna show you a little bit of size comparison. Here's the five inch and the four inch. So the five inch is my go-to, but when I'm really using these for a Domeki rig, this four inch is where it's at. Now this little color right here is definitely my go-to when I get into that ultra clear water, especially on those bluebird skies, dead slick calm. And that's when this bait really can shine for you, whether it be the winter like it is right now or the middle of summer. This is clear with large black flake. All right, so now let me show you how I like to rig these. So we're gonna rig up two different ones. We're gonna, I'll show you how to fish each of them. And both of them are on Angler Tungsten, right? This is the Eclipse head. This is gonna be the one that I rig up most of the time, I use most of the time, whether I'm Domeki rigging, tight lining, or just fishing it, this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna rig up. So we're gonna talk about this one first. And guys, this is of course the four inch. Again, it's just one of those things. What I like to do is kind of mark it. Now there's a debate, you know, up or down, 
The tail doesn't get hung as much if you rig it down, but I like it to be kind of in line and tight. So we get it good and straight. And then it's just the same thing as a swim bait. You just spin it, spin your tail around, and there you've got your grub. Now this is when I like my little baby bass color. And again, angler tungsten, this is angler tungsten Ned head, tail up. And tail up on this one I think is important. And the reason why is because you wanna come down, straight out your seam, push it up on there, get it good and straight. Now, something that I do, guys, big shout out to Avid Angler Solution. Guys, this is the best glue on the market. I'm just telling you this, it's good for knots. It makes your knot last longer, but you wanna put one little drop in there. That's it, right there. Push it up, let it seal, that ain't coming off. Again, guys, they are in Bass Pro Shops, they are in Tackle Warehouse. There are links in the description. Make sure you check out Avid Angler Solution. So this is the one we're gonna tie on. Like I said, 90% of the time, I'm gonna use this one for about everything that I'm talking about, but I wanted to tie this one on so I can show you a very specific way I like to use it. All you do is tie on a Pizzantine knot. Two, three, four, five. Now, the only difference between a San Diego jam, you come through the bottom loop and you come through the top loop. Both of them are good knots. Pull it up, wet it, cinch it down. Avid Angler Solutions again. Let's go fish this thing. So let's talk about rod, reel, and line for this little grub. My go-to on this setup, this is the Tactical Elite. Again, I believe it's the Taction now by TFO. Seven foot three, medium heavy. And I do use a medium heavy for this. You can use a medium. But one of the reasons why I use a medium heavy is because when I'm out here throwing really deep, and I'm, you know, kind of Domeki rigging a grub or tight lining a grub. One of the things that I'll do, man, is I'll use like a three quarters to a one ounce head. Now, again, adjust that if you're fishing from the bank or shallower water, you just adjust it. And this is one of my favorite spinning reels. This is a Lose Custom Pro. And of course, I've got my canine yellow braid i like my pink braid but you know, i'm not taking this off it lasts forever and i'm using the pro 100 anywhere from eight to ten pound test that's a hundred percent pro fluorocarbon by canine line now let me show you where i fish this and how i fish it so one of the places i like to use this guys so many fish will sit at the base of laydowns like this or up on banks like this, your 45 degree or your bluff walls. When I'm fishing this grub in these types of places, you know, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I'm not letting it get down in the brush. I'm gonna fish it above it, keep it over it, or I'm gonna contour that bank. So over here, if I fish the edge of it, I'm just gonna let it kind of pendulum down and come back to me. Now, boat positioning, a lot of times when I'm fishing a lay down, I like to stay out away from it. I'm gonna 45 degree this other stuff though okay until i find out what depth level those bass are so today they're in about 20 to 30 feet and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stay out probably about 15 feet to get in about 20 or 30 feet off this bank so all i'm going to do is i'm going to make the cast i'm going to start reeling real slowly i'm going to keep it above it now i know if you don't have a live scope or some sort of graph you got to learn how to count it down that just takes time of getting used to the bait and the weight. Hook set and fighting the fish, guys. It's as always, you know, when you're setting the hook, you wanna straight up with this. It's a single hook, straight up, and then real quickly and get your rod tip low to the water to keep the bass from jumping. This is kind of one of my little sneaky spots, and this is one of the places that I really, really like to use this particular version. And I like it on a Ned. Now you can use it on a ball too, and, but it's it's just great on these types of points. This is, you can call them pea gravel, kind of clay 
rock. And believe it or not, your crawfish really love these. And in the late winter, early spring, these get real good because your crawdads begin to get active. All I do is cast out there. Now let this sink to the bottom. So I want to use a heavier than normal weight. Not one so much that you're going to get hung. I'm going to lift up and I'm just going to drag it. I'm going to make sure that I'm feeling the contact of the bottom. I want to feel those rocks. I want to feel that bait tick in the bottom. I almost want it leaving a little trail like a crawdad would. Now you want to make sure that you're reeling this extremely slow. Now, as far as the hook set and fighting the fish, it's going to be the same sort of thing. You're going to straight up hook set and then get that rod tip down to make sure that fish doesn't jump and come off. Make sure you pick up a grub. It's great during the winter. It's great any time of year, geeks. I'm telling you right now, there's so many different ways to fish it. And again, I've got to give my buddy AJ a shout out because he's really got me back into fishing this thing, really exploring the different ways that I can catch bass on. All right, as always, questions, comments in the comment section below. You guys tell me what's your favorite grub and where and how you like to fish it. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you geeks ring that bell so you get notification. 100% Watch Squad, you geeks make the world go around, at least in the bass geek world. And as always, you geeks rock.